Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Look at where I am. I am back on the gym train and I couldn't be happier. I'm actually filming today's video on Monday. I just got back from my trip to California yesterday and here I am, 6 a.m., walking to the gym and I woke up this morning so excited to get my workout in because it's been a good, oh geez, two weeks? Three weeks technically, I think, since I've been to my gym. Now, as you know, I did a couple workouts when I was in Hawaii, but my basic routine, back to upper body days, lower body days, structure cardio, walking in my beautiful community, it has been a couple of weeks. So today's a good day. Today's a really good day because I get to get back to the gym. My foot is feeling 100% back to normal. It actually has been fine for about the last week or so, but gearing up for my trip to California, I just didn't have the time to make it to the gym and get everything done. So yeah, I'm really excited to be going to the gym. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I had about half of it before I left this morning, but I'm anxious to get to the gym. So let's go get our workout in so we can start our day. Good morning, I'm home from the gym, I'm ready for the day. We're gonna wear the gym clothes today because I'm actually not going anywhere. It is a catch up day for me since I just got back from back to back trips. I have macros to do, I have questionnaires to send out, I have coaching calls, but I need a little bit of pick me up after the gym before I have some breakfast. I actually just finished my protein coffee, so I'll go ahead and put what's in my protein coffee here on the screen. I actually have an entire protein coffee video with four different ways to make coffee or protein coffee, so I'll link that down below for you. I am going to mix up some electrolytes to recoup post-workout in my Lululemon bottle. Funny story, I ordered a army green colored Lululemon bottle as a backup because when this piece is in the dishwasher, I start to panic a little bit. This is my all-time favorite water bottle. It makes the water taste so good, and somebody, not naming any names, Troy, stole it from me when I was in California. He actually messaged me and said, can I have the water bottle for golf and it matches my car? So of course I had to say yes. So I actually ordered another Lululemon water bottle and it's on its way. So I'm gonna mix up some of my Element Electrolyte Powder. Now I shared this in a previous video with you guys, but I have been getting a ton of questions about it. So I wanna go over the product again let you know why I use it, why I recommend it, why it's different from other electrolyte powders out there. But today I'm going to mix up the raspberry salt. So it has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So it is amazing post-workout. It really just helps rejuvenate your body, helps with muscle recovery after working out. It tastes really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, sip on this during my coaching call. I have a call here in about 20 minutes and then we'll put together breakfast. So I add my element powder to my water bottle. I'm gonna fill it up with some water and some ice. It dissolves perfectly. I just shake it up in my water bottle. I never have any weird clumps or anything. And again, today I'm doing the raspberry salt. So it's a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. Your life should be with more salt, not less. So the word is out. After decades of misinformed guidance, a growing body of scientific literature is revealing that low sodium levels may indeed be harmful to health. In fact, optimal health outcomes are seen at sodium levels two to three times higher than government recommendations. Each one has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, 200 milligrams of potassium, they are vegan, paleo, and keto friendly. They have everything you need, nothing you don't, no sugar, no gluten, and no 
sketchy ingredients. Sodium is really important in your diet. This drink mix is formulated to help you with your electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited for folks following a keto, low carb, or even a paleo diet. It helps keep your mind clear, helps your body recover, and whether you work out or not, it's really important to make sure that your electrolytes are in check and that you're consuming enough sodium every day. Sodium actually helps you shed water weight, as weird as that sounds. I will go ahead and link Element down below for you with a discount code. Again, you can buy the full size boxes or the little packet where you can try all of the diff different samples. A lot of you have reached out and said that you don't like electrolyte supplements because they're too salty. I don't think this one is salty at all. Now, of course, there is that little bit of salt to it, but you definitely get the more fruity flavor, which I really, really appreciate. I have been loving it. I've taken it on my trips. I had some, as you saw today, it was a great post workout pick me up. I really, really enjoy the Element brand. And again, I'll link it down below. I'm off my coaching call. I'm starving. I finished my Element electrolyte water and now I'm going to make some breakfast. So I'm going to use one of the Gilbert's bourbon apple chicken sausages. I really, really like these. They're so good. I love all the Gilbert sausages. I really like too that they're individually wrapped. So it makes it really easy to keep them fresh. So I'm going to dice that up pretty small. And then I think I'm going to do one full egg and two egg whites. I want to make kind of a scramble. And then I'm going to throw in some spinach for some greens. And I have some blackberries that I need to eat up as well. So I'm going to do a little egg sausage scramble, pair that with some blackberries, and that's going to be today's breakfast. Here is my breakfast. Doesn't this look so good? This is a prime example of high volume, low density foods. This is a very low calorie, high protein breakfast, and you get a ton of food. Lots of volume for the points in calories. So I have my little scramble with spinach, one egg, two egg whites, and the Gilbert sausage. And then I have 123 grams of blackberries on my Halloween Creep It Real plate. So this is what I'm going to have for breakfast. I'll put points calories and protein here on the screen for you. So let's taste test this breakfast. I have been not in the habit of putting spinach in my eggs and I don't know why I don't do that because it's a great way to get in your greens and some microgreens in the meal. You can't even taste it. I also need to start adding it to my protein shakes and smoothies that I blend up. So this is a reminder to add your greens. You're not gonna be able to taste it. And again, that huge handful wilted down to basically nothing. This is really good. I love the sausage. It gives it a really, really nice flavor. And then the blackberries will be the perfect addition. I'm doing my laundry. I'm trying to get caught up on all the laundry from all the traveling that I've been doing. And I thought while I was in here folding and getting my laundry out of the dryer that I wanted to ask you guys your suggestion on a couple of things when it comes to some videos. So my first question for you guys is, are you guys interested in me incorporating a Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas kind of home tour into my what I eat in a days? So let me know if you're interested in seeing all of the decorations and how we've decorated our new house for the holidays. So that was my first question. I wasn't sure if I should include it in a what I eat in a day. I don't really think it warrants its own dedicated video, especially for Halloween and Thanksgiving because I just don't have enough decorations to do a dedicated video, but I definitely could incorporate it into a what I eat in a day. So that was my first question. And my second question for you guys is, are you guys interested in holiday related baking videos? So like healthy Halloween treats, healthy Thanksgiving treats, healthy holiday treats, and even unhealthy treats, like my favorite holiday recipes. Let me know what you guys think of that. I'm just trying to think a little bit outside of the box for videos for the holiday season. And I always appreciate your guys' feedback because after all, you're the ones watching my videos. So I wanna make sure that I'm putting out the content that you guys want to see. So leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts.
thoughts. And if you have any other video suggestions for me, let me know those too. Look what came while I was in California my new Ver bars. Last week I shared with you guys that they have reformulated their bar. They made them 20% bigger. They have some great flavors. The calories, everything are exactly the same. Calories and points. They range from three to four points per bar. Most of the bars are three points. The, for, the reformulation and the fact that you get a bigger bar for the same points and calories, yes please. I went ahead and ordered a couple more flavors. So I got the s'mores. So here's the size of the bar. So they're definitely bigger than they used to be. I love the s'mores. It has the whole graham cracker chocolate marshmallow vibe. This one is 110 calories. It has three grams of protein. And what's great about these is they have the equivalent of caffeine of one shot of espresso. So for me, these are a great morning snack, a great mid-morning pick-me-up, pre-post workout. So we're gonna taste test the two bars. I wanna see if I like them more or as much as the original formulation. So here's the bar. You can see it's definitely bigger. Before I would say that it was like maybe that big. So they definitely added that extra 20%. And it is, this will be my morning snack. I'm going to have half of a s'mores bar and half of the other flavor that I picked up. So let's taste test s'mores. Mm. That's better than the original. See, there's like little chocolate chip bits. The chocolate really comes through. And you can see on the wrapper that it says one verb bar equals one shot of espresso. So it literally is the perfect pick me up snack. Also bought the cookie butter because I love the cookie butter one. That was one of my very, very favorites. Also 90 calories, three grams of protein, three points, a shot of espresso worth of caffeine, and it's all natural caffeine. So it's caffeine from green tea. So it doesn't give you that energy and then that energy crash like other caffeines do. So it's the perfect sustained energy. So here's the cookie butter bar. Mm, smells so good. So here's what it looks like. This is so good. I honestly think this cookie butter is my favorite. It gives me fall feels. It has a little bit of a kick of cinnamon, kind of like the speculose cookie butter. You know how it has that kind of pumpkin, cinnamon, spicy vibe? Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mmm. I'm so excited. These are amazing, amazing, amazing. Both flavors are really good, but cookie butter, stole the show. Link for Benergy down below for you with a massive, massive discount. I can't recommend it enough. Like I said, it's a great pre, post workout, mid afternoon slump, a little bit of pick me up that tastes so good. The cookie butter, oh, I love the cookie butter. So I'm taking you guys outside because a lot of you have been asking how things are going with the lemon tree and I definitely have some updates. Oh, Palmer's coming with us. So look at my poor tree. <laughs> Troy even tied it up on the fence in the back, but the weights of the lemons are so heavy. It just really weighs down the entire tree. So we actually have the landscapers coming out next week. We're going to ask them what to do about it because, I mean, look, that's how close the tree is to the ground because of the weight of all the lemons. But, but look how good my lemons are looking. There is just a ton, ton, ton of them on the tree. We're going to get a lot of lemons out of this harvest, like so many. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all. And they're already huge and they won't even be right most likely until December or January. I'm definitely going to give some to my mother-in-law and my neighbor. And then my orange tree too is doing really, really well. You can see that the oranges are coming. I can't remember what kind of tree this is. I actually saw it on our Facebook group for our community and the oranges are a little bit more on the bitter side. They're kind of a spin between a lemon and an orange. And people use these types of oranges for making making orange marmalade. So I might even try my hand at making that, but everything is just blooming and looking really good. And we should have our full crop of oranges and lemons December or January. Mm-hmm. 
So for lunch today, I'm making a pizza. A lot of you have been asking how I make my non-bread pizza. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. Let me put my, let me turn my oven on to 350, get it warmed up. But what I'm gonna be using is one of the Stonefire non rounds. I have some light shredded mozzarella, the actual pepperoni minis, and then I like to top my pizza too with some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to refill my water. Let's make pizza. Who doesn't want pizza for lunch? All right, so I start with one of the non rounds and I just place that onto a baking sheet. You can also make this pizza in your air fryer. I almost forgot I need pizza sauce. So this is the Simple Truth Organic. You can have a quarter cup or 62 grams for 50 calories. I'm going to do half of that. So we'll do 31 grams. I think that's all we're gonna need. That might even be too much. That's only 12 grams. So there's 30 grams, so let's spread that out. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So 30 grams of pizza sauce. And then our little pepperonis, a serving of these is 28 grams. I don't know that I'll even need that many. So let me just pop a few on my pizza and we'll see where we wind up. Okay, so that's 14 grams. So that's half of a serving, which is only 70 calories. So that is not bad at all. And then for our cheese, we can have 28 grams. So let me start putting my cheese on. I'll probably use the whole 28 grams. That's 20 grams, yeah. We'll do the whole 28 of cheese, which is a quarter of a cup. So there is our cheese. So there's our little pizza. I mean, it's perfect. It's like the perfect, perfect, super easy pizza. I'm gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven until it's melty cheese and browned and everything is warmed through. All right, pizza is served. Does not look amazing? I can't recommend these non-rounds enough. Now this isn't a super high protein lunch. There's not a lot in the cheese, the meat, the little pepperoni. So I like to pair mine with something else with some protein. So I'm gonna do a Chobani zero sugar vanilla yogurt. That'll be a little something sweet and give me another 11 grams of protein. But the pizza, you guys have to try this. You could add whatever toppings you want to it. Such a great, easy and comfort food lunch, especially as we move into the colder months. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, protein here on the screen. I also wanna point out that the non bread gets nice and crispy on the bottom like pizza crust. Mmm. My little personal pepperoni pizza. So Troy brought me home coffee from Dunkin'. So I got an iced Americano with an extra shot. And I'm gonna put in some of the no sugar added pumpkin spice. This is my favorite coffee creamer for the holidays. I think I'm gonna do two tablespoons, 30 calories, and I think it's one or two points. And I'm gonna hop on my next coaching call for the day. Sit. Daddy's home from getting his prescription. So it's time for a treat. Who's first? Oh, 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 Diesel was first. Are you ready, sweetheart? Oh, good girl, Lola. Good job, baby. Oh, pumpkin, oh, good sit. Easy, here you go. Good, good sit, buddy. So I'm gonna make a protein shake for an afternoon snack, and we are gonna try out that other sample from One Up Nutrition. This is the Chocolate and Peanut Butter Blast protein powder. It sounds so good. 23 grams of protein, 127 calories. I loved, loved, loved the other protein powder that I got from 1UP Nutrition. When you order your greens, you have the option of picking samples. So I've been picking the protein powder because I wanted to try them out and I really, really love the other one. So we'll see if this one is as good. I'm going to throw in half of a banana. And normally I would use Fairlife milk, but I'm out. I ordered it on my Walmart pickup before I went to California and it was out of stock. So I didn't get it. So I'm actually going to do half of a cup of non-fat milk and then add a little bit of water if needed. And then the frozen banana will be my ice. Palmer, are you cozy with daddy? He was very, I'll get you a pen. Hang on just a second. Let me finish my protein shake here. Get it going in the blender. Palmer missed you while you were golfing. Okay. 
Okay, so I didn't have to add any more liquid other than that half of a cup of milk. It is really thick. Ooh, it smells really good. So first impression taste test. Wow. Mmm. That is really good. I taste the chocolate. I definitely taste the peanut butter. The banana gave it a little bit of sweetness. I'm impressed. It says it's for sports nutrition, meal replacement, and healthy cooking. Promotes lean muscle growth, supports muscle recovery, and improves strength. It's 100% whey protein and hydrolyzed whey isolate. Delicious. Have to say I'd highly recommend. For dinner tonight, I'm making fall harvest pasta salad. I put a little spin on this to add a little extra protein, but I'm really excited for this pasta salad dish. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need pasta and I'm using Fiber Gourmet. This is the pasta I prefer to use. I love it. It has 48% less calories per serving with only 110 calories for two ounces, which is crazy. 24 grams of fiber, 17 net carbs, and seven grams of protein. I'm using the light rotini shape, but they actually have elbows, penne, linguine, and rotini. I buy mine off of Nutrition. I find that they have the least expensive price, the biggest selection, and it's usually always in stock. So I'll link Nutrition down below for you, but if you wanna save half the points, half the calories, highly recommend Fiber Gourmet, not to mention you get a big boost of fiber and protein. And then you'll need some reduced sugar craisins, pine nuts, poppy seed dressing of your choice. I went with the G Hue sugar-free poppy seed dressing. I know that there's a couple of other options. I know Skinny Girl makes one, and I believe Olive Garden makes one as well. So whatever you can find at your local store. Salt and pepper, I'll go ahead and link my Gravity Fed salt and pepper grinders down below. We love these, you guys love these, so I'll link those for you. You'll need some broccoli, and I'm actually going to add some of the pulled white meat chicken from Sprouts. Now that isn't in the original recipe, but I'm upping the protein by adding the protein to the pasta salad. And then I'm going to use feta cheese. You can also use goat cheese, whatever your preference is. You'll need a couple of sweet potatoes, or one huge one like I have, and a red onion. So I chopped up my sweet potatoes, sprayed them with a little nonstick cooking spray, salt, and pepper. We're popping these into a 400 degree oven until they are cooked through. So I chopped up the red onion, the broccoli, and then I went ahead and even chopped up the chicken a little bit smaller so that it mixes really nicely with the pasta. My water's coming to a boil. We'll add in our pasta and we're going to cook our pasta al dente. So the sweet potatoes are in the oven and I have half of a cup of pine nuts. I'm going to just spread those out on a baking sheet and throw them in the oven with the sweet potatoes so that they can roast up. That will really bring out the flavor, get them nice and toasty. We've got toasted pine nuts. I have a cup of craisins, our chopped up vegetables, our bowl for our pasta. Our potatoes are just about done. I have my cheese, my dressing, my pasta in the refrigerator, and we're ready to put together this fall harvest salad. So to start putting the pasta salad together, I'm going to go ahead and add my one cup of reduced sugar craisins. We've got all our good stuff, our onion, our broccoli, and our chicken. Our cool toasted pine nuts, our cooled penne pasta, and then I'm gonna give this just a quick mix because our bowl is already getting full and we haven't even added in the cheese, the dressing, or the sweet potatoes. Our roasted sweet potatoes, and then another quick mix to kinda get those pre preliminarily mixed in. And then we want to add in one and a half cups of the poppy seed dressing, which by the way, for the G Hughes is the entire bottle. And then mix that together really well before we add in the cheese. And then lastly, we're adding four ounces of either feta or goat cheese, whatever you're using. And then give that one last stir and the pasta salad is ready. So here is the completed fall harvest salad. This looks absolutely delicious it smells really good and again i did add the chicken as a side note just for that extra bit of protein so let me go ahead and plate this up and i'll be back to share points and calories and of course protein so here is my dinner so this is one serving of the fall harvest pasta salad i will go ahead and put points calories protein here on the screen this looks so good i am super excited for dinner for dessert tonight 
I'm having my favorite dessert ever, and that is one of the Quaker Caramel Rice Cakes with American Dream Nut Butter, and I'm super excited to share with you guys the nut butters for spooky season. So they've released four Halloween nut butters, and spoiler alert, they're delicious. So I'm gonna share with you the four different nut butters that they released, and then we'll figure out which one we wanna put on the rice cake for dessert tonight. But first, we have a peanut butter release called Bewitched. This features a rich, chocolatey, Oreo-flavored peanut butter base hand-topped with crushed, gluten-free chocolate sandwich cookies, Halloween sprinkles, and sea salt. I love this one. It has that perfect cookie taste to it, and then you have the crunch of the Oreos, the little bit of salt. It is so, so good. It's actually probably my favorite out of all of them, but they're all really, really good. And again, this is the Bewitched Peanut Butter. Eight grams of protein, seven grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, 150 calories for two tablespoons. Next up is Monster Munch, which is their almond butter. And this is drizzly almond butter, carefully hand whipped with caramel popcorn flavor into a butter base. And then it's topped with all crave worthy goodies, crushed gluten-free pretzels, mini chocolate coated candies, and salted caramel chips. This one is really good too. It kind of reminds me of a monster cookie. This one is eight grams of protein, seven grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat and 160 calories per serving and is an almond butter. Then we have a cashew butter called Black Velvet. This one is rich red velvet cake flavored cashew butter layered with a sweet and tangy cream cheese frosting flavored cashew butter topping with thick indulgent fudge sauce, mini chocolate chips, and crushed gluten-free chocolate sandwich cookies. Really good and you guys know that the cashew butters aren't my favorite but this one I actually really like. I love the texture of it. It's fun because it's red which gives you that whole blood vibe for Halloween. And I like that there's cookies in the chocolate chip, so again, it gives it a little bit of texture. Super good. And then last but not least, we have another almond butter to the lineup, which makes me really happy. The peanut butter and almond butters are my favorite. And this is the Trick or Treat Cookie Bar. So this says, Candy coated chocolate perfection, marshmallow and vanilla tri-color trick or treat cookie bar almond butter ticks all those craving boxes. Featuring a chocolate chip blondie bar flavored almond butter base. I love the base of this. That's delicately topped with crushed gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, M&Ms, and I can't, iconic candy corn. I love candy corn. I actually have a little bowl here on my counter of candy corn for the holidays. And again, that's what gives this some really, really yummy texture, not to mention the marshmallow peanut buttery base of this, or almond butter base of this. Super good. I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of these. And by the way, all four of these spooky season flavors are limited edition. So get them before they sell out. Again, we have a peanut butter, two almond butters, and a cashew butter. I think I'm going to do Bewitch because like I said, that one's my favorite. But again, I like all of them. And I'll link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with 10% off. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food. We tried out some new things. There's lots of good deals going on right now with Verbar and American Dream Nut Butter in their holiday collection. We tried the One Up Nutrition Protein Powder. It was a really, really good day. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not and turn your bell on because I upload five videos every week and we do a What I Eat in a Day every week. Wednesday. Don't forget to check out the description box for Element, One Up Nutrition, American Dream Nut Butter, everything I shared with you today. And of course, you'll find links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. I'll see you all in my next video.